Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Today I want to go through what's in my bag. I recently picked up a new club that I'm excited to show you and I'm also kind of excited just to take an inventory of what's currently in my bag as of the summer of 2019 so that as some changes happen over the next year or so, hopefully my bag will change a lot. start out with the iron. These are Mizuno MP57s. It's quasi cavity back, but as you can see, there's not a lot of cavity on it. Uh, definitely not a pure blade, but I would say a little bit less forgiving than some other irons. And this is a set of irons that I've had now since I believe 2008, somewhere around that time, when my cousin and I both kind of got excited about getting golf clubs at the same time. And I think we both ordered a set off of eBay and got a pretty good deal on these. And they've held up well, um, as you can see here. They've held up pretty well. I've taken good care of them with the grooves and everything. I just love these irons. And I've been kind of a little bit hesitant to buy a new set for a couple years now. But I think we're getting to that point where I'm starting to think that it's time to maybe make an upgrade. I'm not sure if I should stick with Mizuno or maybe venture out, but that'll kind of be an exciting journey and an exciting thing to chronicle for you is just trying to buy a new set of irons. So there we go, Mizunos. Next, I'd like to run through my wedges. So my gap wedge, my 52 degree, is this Warrior wedge that I think I saw on some infomercial. Got the good deal, 52 degree. Does what it needs to do. You know, it's nothing fancy, nothing super special, but it hits well, it's a solid club, so. 56 degree, here's my sand wedge. This is a Vokey sand wedge, as you can see here. And this one actually, I got for free, which is pretty cool. Before this, I had a 56 degree, I think it was called Solus. It was like a black club with a yellow grip. Supposedly, you know, had a, a lot of spin, which sometimes it did. So I had that 56 degree and then went in to hit some clubs at, at a shop and started looking at this as maybe an upgrade and the guy who was working, I forget which store it was, and I hit one and the head came off. And he was like, oh my God, this doesn't happen. Usually I messed up, you know, I can just give you this sand wedge. And then we'll just kind of go quickly through here. I got my lob wedge, 60 degree. This is a tailor-made, nothing much to say about that. You know, it's a good wedge. And then I have an X-Forged Callaway, 64 degree. And I use this bad boy a lot. I use it out of the bunkers, I use it out of the rough. You can hit the 64 degree full swing, about 90 yards, so. It's very useful, but love my wedges. Use my wedges a lot. I'm thinking about trying out the tailor-made high toe wedges. I've seen a lot of pros and seen a lot of videos, of people hitting those and loving the feel. It's a little bit lower flight and more spin. So I'd be curious to maybe check those out and see if I could, you know, hit a few and look at the numbers and things like that. Next, we have a Rescue TaylorMade's a Rescue Mid 19 degree loft. You know, kind of a standard hybrid club that for me fills a gap between my three iron and my five wood. So I'd say my three iron might go around 220, I'd say, and my five wood might go around 245. So having this hybrid kind of fills that gap a little bit. I don't use it a ton, I don't tee off with it much. I'd rather hit a long iron or a wood, but it's pretty good out of the rough. You know, it's, it's a hybrid, so it's pretty smooth out of some shaky lies. But I got this at a trade show. I think I got a really good deal on it, which is why I got it. And I don't know, it's it's one of those clubs that I don't use enough maybe to justify uh, keeping it in the bag since I already have so many clubs that when I upgrade maybe to a new set of irons, uh, maybe even a full bag upgrade aside from the driver, uh, I might leave out a hybrid. Here is my baby. You know how golf clubs are, right? They feel like cars sometimes, especially when you own them for more than 10 years. So here's my five wood. It's an R580, R580 tailor-made, and I just hit this well. I hit it well, it goes very high. It's been a club that I've held on to dearly for a while now. So I think maybe technology is getting to a point that I might want to try to upgrade, but it'd be tough for me to let this one go because it's been a trusty club to me for a good long time now. Three wood is a little less sentimental for me. I upgraded to a Rocket Ball Z not too long ago, I think maybe three years ago or something. Uh, I went on a secondhand website, got this used for 
I think it was $65, because I wanted to have a Rocketball Z wood in my bag. I would hit a couple from friends, from my dad. Really liked a Rocketball Z. This little air pocket right here really gives you a lot of distance. So there's some rounds, there's been some rounds where I only tee off, like maximum would be my three wood. I'm not hitting my driver well. There's not a huge gap between the distance between my three wood and driver. I don't really need to press it and get a little bit more distance if I'm gonna bring trouble into play or if I'm not confident with how I'm swinging the driver. So the three wood, the Rocketball Z, great club. And then last but not least, well, I guess that's still with my putter. Last but not least, I upgraded to this bad boy right here. Just a beautiful looking club here. And I'd had an R11 driver, a TaylorMade driver before this for a while and things were getting a little bit loose. I heard some pops and some whistling noises as I was swinging it. So I just knew the club wasn't really in great shape. A couple of buddies of mine were buying golf clubs left and right. I was like, man, if everyone else is buying clubs then I might go out and treat myself. So went into a local golf store here, hit some drivers and this one was used. So I got a good price on this one and I just loved it. I just love the numbers I was getting them. It's been a great club uh, since I put it in my bag. It just allows me to kind of swing as fast as I want and not worry too much. So really like this M3 driver here. I think that was a smart investment of mine. I've been using it a lot since I bought it. And then last but not least here, we have the Odyssey White Hot Putter. Man, <laughs> I've had this thing for, I gotta say, somewhere like 14 years, somewhere thereabouts. But uh, recently, maybe two years ago, put on this nice super stroke grip, a little bit of weight here in the handle. So customize it a little bit, but it's just a classic, you know, White Hot Odyssey Mallet Putter. And I've been going back and forth in my head about maybe switching to more of the, the standard classic putter, not the mallet look. Um, more of kind of the, just this straight blade look. Something like a Scotty Cameron would be pretty cool, but putters are expensive, man. Trying to get a nice new putter or one of those like spider putters, you're looking at like 300 plus dollars. So I'm not sure that I need that right now. I've been putting up and down with this lately, but the last few times that I've taken it out, I've put it really well. So I don't really have an excuse like, it's gonna drastically improve my game um, because I've been using this for so long and there's nothing wrong with how this performs. The bag here is a nice little tailor-made. I believe my dad got this for my mom and then it was just lying around and it was better than the bag that I had, so I took it. So I got a nice little tailor-made here. Uh, Youth Links, Indiana, you can see on the back of it. Got an alignment stick and then, not gonna go into it, but you know, inside my bag, I don't keep that much probably sunscreen and old scorecards of memorable rounds that I've had throughout the country over the last few years just to kind of hold on to those as keepsakes and memories but so that's a little video of what's in my bag as of early summer 2019 thank you so much for checking out this video it was fun to make and it'll be fun to kind of see the changes in my bag over the next couple of years I've been wanting to bite the bullet and buy a new set of irons for a couple of years now but Spending over a thousand dollars if you're gonna go for kind of one of the newer sets. It's a lot of money It's a lot of money to spend and you have to be playing a lot of golf I feel like to maybe justify that so still thinking about that But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and look forward to seeing you in the next one